So today the topic is really important and uh, you know there is an ongoing debate about the AI tools and what AI tools can work for us. There are you know tons of AI tools available everywhere and every day you are looking at some new AI tools. That opens another debate whether we can use one AI tool for all our work or research and especially I'm talking about the systematic literature reviews or uh, literature reviews and how can we use these tools more efficiently and effectively to save our time. The debate is like most of the time uh, we want to save our time that's why we are using AI tools but uh, you know we are spending more time in learning these AI tools that the equation is is not really balanced so that's why we need to learn exactly what types of tools we can use and how we can use them and how we can learn what are the AI tools which can help us, especially in crafting uh, our literature review. That's very important question and that is why uh, I have started this uh, sessions and today the topic is very simple. Uh, I would be looking at top three AI tools based on my own opinion and why I, I reach to that uh, conclusion I would show you uh, and I hope so when you will be working on your li literature reviews you will be finding this uh, research or this video very helpful because uh, this video is based on a few important tools uh, which we can use in different stages of our workflow. So let's talk about the workflow first. Let's try to learn uh, what exactly literature review is, how we work with the literature reviews and then how we can use these AI tools, what they they are you know meant for or why we need to use them. So that, that's where I'll be giving you a workflow, a complete workflow for literature review. At the same time, I would be giving you a very uh, you know simple technique or tools which can be used in, in different phases of your workflow in, in writing systematic literature. I'll try to keep this video very brief so you can learn more rather than uh, spending uh, time on, on, on all these steps and all this. So I'll be focusing on AI tools very soon. So the first thing is uh, we need to learn about the literature review, how we do that. What are the different steps in, in literature review? I'm not talking about the systematic literature reviews or the literature reviews which we we categorize under scoping or uh, systematic. It applies on all type of the literature reviews. So, what is the basic process? So the process is very simple. So what we, we do usually is we collect data or we search literature. Uh, we download uh, a, a few article or maybe if we are using Scopus and uh, Web of Sciences. So what we are doing is we are exporting the Excel sheet. This is I think common across all the, this uh, literature review aspect. So first is gathering your data. Then most of the time we need to collect PDF uh, files for those research articles which lies under our own scope and then finally uh, we need to work with, with those uh, PDF files and learn from the literature and classify that literature and develop some theory. So these are simple steps of writing literature review. Everybody uh, would be aware of these steps. So if you are not aware, you can watch our videos on uh, how to write the systematic literature reviews and different steps of the systematic literature. So the bases are same. We'll be using these AI tools. Uh, I have seen many videos where these uh, uh, different researchers have explored these AI tools. They have done a considerable good job. But the thing is, uh, uh, we need to legitimate our search so it's not just we can uh, write any prompt in any AI tool and whatever research articles are coming out of that search we can you know consider them without reviewing or without having any quality search criteria so that is why every time I told you we can't use any AI tool directly to search literature we need to use these uh, databases or these uh, indexes so which we are already using for example Scopus we are using Web of Sciences so these are the basis of uh, any any literature review so any tool which we want to use directly in my opinion is not worthy because uh, we can't have uh, quality assessment criteria applied on those so if, if we want to apply these tools becoming more difficult for us so that's why uh, we need to have another idea 
so this is where your uh, you know this video would be very helpful for everybody we can work on uh, workflow we can decide about the workflow and then we can look into the different AI tools which are very helpful for each of these fl workflows okay so there is no set uh, tool for uh, all workflows so we need to uh, develop uh, you know a complete guideline or a plan for our literature review based on different AI tools so that's that's how we need to work uh, in literature review using AI tools so that would be our strategy so let's talk about the workflow a very simple a common a workflow which we follow in uh, all uh, literature reviews is collecting data or literature that is first step from where you can start your search so we have keywords and we we use those keywords in order to access your information so uh, if if you are not familiar with the terms keywords and how we can search different databases so you can watch our youtube video where we have discussed about how you can use keywords from your research question and use them for data search so that is your first step for common literature review process then the most important part where most of the researchers they are struggling and still you have to define that based on your own understanding so we need to develop an analysis framework okay that is very important part and most of the researchers they do not uh, you know use this step and they try to assess the information and without having any analysis framework uh, they are trying to analyze the literature so if you are doing the same uh, it means that you are ending up with nothing or maybe frustration so uh, the things would not make sense for you so we need to develop a framework for analysis from the literature so now uh, my understanding or why I am talking about this framework and what exactly uh, I mean with this framework is like you need to define how are you going to analyze the literature. Okay, that is the first question you need to ask from yourself when we are writing any uh, review or any conducting any systematic literature or any simple review based on your you know uh, findings or based on your uh, research uh, maybe thesis or dissertation in PhD so all these literature review things we need to define a framework so what does it mean it means that you need to define some parameters on which you can you know you can compare findings of all studies that is the uh, central point for any literature review. for example if I I want to see how blockchains are being used in different industry setting now this is where I'm developing a framework for my literature analysis. For example, I'm looking at the blockchain application based on different industries. Okay, so food industry, maybe supply chain, maybe in manufacturing. So it means that I have defined a clear framework on which I can classify my literature, I can create clusters, or I can, you know, uh, look into the different streams of research based on this framework. So that is a very fundamental point which we need to identify before we start working on any literature. So that is a point where most of the researchers, they struggle and they don't uh, use or don't, don't create any framework. And then things are getting, you know, scattered and you are not able to develop any, any theory or any synthesis from uh, the findings. So that's important. How we can create this framework? We have already discussed this in different videos but uh, in future I'll be trying to create a specific video on developing different framework for literature analysis but that's the point uh, we need to discuss uh, in detail uh, in, in, a, in any further video or maybe I would be helping you in in this video as well okay so uh, this is the first thing uh, a, a housekeeping rule uh, sorry for taking you away from this topic for, for a while so please, if you have any question during the session, save it for now, write it for you. But at the end of the session, I will ask you to write your uh, questions and then I can take these questions to answer your queries uh, during the session would not be possible for me. So make sure at the end of the session, when I give you some time, you can type your question and then I would be trying to uh, take as many as question I can. Okay, so the session will be continued for one hour. So hopefully I'll be completing everything within 30 minute to 45 minute and then we can have 10 to 15 minutes for question answer session. So please make sure 
uh, you you write your questions with you and when we have time you can just paste it in chat box and i can uh, try to answer your questions okay so coming back to the topic now step one collecting data this data means either it is an excel sheet but from that excel sheet you need to extract pdf files okay we can use uh, scopus to identify or to extract the pdf files uh, if you want me to show you how we can do that i can share this information in a while okay i will be showing you how we can use a scopus csv file and then we can create links so we can uh, extract a pdf file or download pdf file from different uh, websites okay so uh, that is first step then second step you need to create a, a, a framework or uh, parameters through which you can analyze your data or data means the literature okay and once it is done the next step is you need to learn from the literature okay so learning from the literature means that you need to classify literature into different categories you need to identify uh, based on your framework uh, for example the sectors the blockchain application in different sectors so i i need to define what are the different sectors in research where the blockchains were used so it means that i'm learning from the literature uh, this is uh, step number three okay so first data collection second you need to develop a framework third one is you need to learn from the literature once you are able to identify the relevant information or maybe understanding from the literature learning or understanding from the literature the next step is you should be able to classify literature on in different themes different clusters or different classification this is where your framework would be a key to classify your literature or divide divide your literature into different uh, subgroups okay all the groups so that that's where your framework would be used okay for example if i am uh, working on industry base so my data would be uh, divided into different industries and the applications of blockchain in different industries i hope this uh, makes sense why we need this framework so if we don't have the framework we don't have the parameter we don't have clear understanding uh, how to classify the literature we would not be able to extract the information especially what exactly uh, what work has been done in the literature and how we are going to see different gaps in the literature and what is the recommendation for the future so this is not possible without defining a clear framework of your uh, literature so uh, we need to use uh, literature classify literature based on the framework that is uh, our fourth step and finally we'll be trying to develop some theory or literature synthesis so combining all the limitations and existing work uh, in the body of knowledge and then we can come up with some ideas maybe it can be a framework it can be a theory it can be a synthesis so whatever uh, outcome you you have already uh, you know uh, uh, maybe planned for your literature so you can develop that okay so these are five uh, simple steps through which we can conduct our uh, literature review and i believe everybody is is clear about these steps so now the question is this how ai tools can help us in this workflow this workflow is is really important for writing any research or any uh, literature review so this is where i'll be working through a few of these ai tools the first thing is how these tools can help us now we need to think uh, based on the workflow so what workflow we we need to follow uh, as a standard case i'm using this workflow where we have excel sheet uh, from uh, extracted from scopus or web of sciences so if you are not familiar with this how we can extract this sheet you can watch our videos on uh, how to conduct systematic literature where i have uh, uh, you know demonstrated how you can uh, extract all this information based on scopus and uh, web of sciences databases so similar uh, you can use all these different databases uh, uh, scientific databases in order to extract the csv or uh, excel sheets okay now workflow is is simple now uh, data extraction then we need to learn from the literature then we need to classify the literature and then we need to synthesize the literature so these are four important step yes the fifth one is uh, to develop framework but that is a conceptual step it's not being 
technically or practically any steps it's it's just a you know uh, an understanding and developing a framework in your mind okay so that that's how it, it works so these five steps are key so we'll follow this similar workflow and see where uh, this ai tool and how this ai tool can help us and how we can utilize them uh, in different stages of our work so the main idea of these ai tools is to you know automate the re research process or the literature review process so the first tool which i believe is is very important for me is learning from um, literature okay so the first step downloading and extracting information and uh, you know using um, scopus and any other websites in order to uh, extract the relevant knowledge or literature this videos uh, this topic has been covered in many 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 videos and you you are already familiar with this concept so i'm starting with you have a microsoft excel sheet and from that excel sheet you have already downloaded a few of these uh, pdf files okay so this is my understanding about the literature review so you are at the stage where you have already extracted the information and now you want to uh, use ai tool in order to learn from the literature and then uh, develop something out of it okay so uh, there is there are sorry three steps before this and i believe uh, we have uh, previous videos on that and you can learn how we can do that how we can extract uh, microsoft excel files from scopus and uh, web of sciences databases so you can use that but now let's move on for uh, this step so what we want to do is i have pdf files maybe 60 or 70 pdf files now i want to learn from the literature or understand what exactly is happening or what are what work has been done okay and what are the limitation on existing body of knowledge what are the sectoral base uh, you know application of any uh, you know applications or any knowledge so this is where we need to learn from the literature so traditionally uh, we were reading each of these pdf files and based on the framework we have developed we were trying to list down the information and create a table okay so this is how we were trained to do a literature review similar work or similar task can be done through these two tools which are my uh, number three tools for uh, scientific research uh, ai tool the size space one of the best okay so uh, the similar is illicit so you can use any one of them these two tools are almost similar or any tool which gives you these possibilities or these options or these uh, functionalities you can use any of these tools okay so size space i selected because it's simple easy to use but if you can do similar work with any other tool ai tool that will work for us for understanding and learning so i will tell you what exactly we need from this tool and how we are going to use it uh, 